Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are just reflecting on 2018 because 2018 is almost over. I can't believe that. I feel like this year, like, I feel like it was long, but also I feel like it was short. Well, to start off this year, well, actually, we're beginning with 2017. Actually, I say this in a lot of videos. I made a lot of videos about it. My grandpa passed away in December of 2017. It was literally a week before my birthday. And then we had his funeral like a few days later. And yeah, it was just very hectic and it was a crazy way to kind of start 2018. So it was kind of weird because then it was like just me and my grandma in my house. My uncle had moved out of our house and it was just me and my grandma and Piper and Mitzi, my two dogs. It was kind of weird to get used to because I was so used to feeding my grandpa at like 9 o'clock in the morning and like several other times throughout the day because if you didn't know my grandpa was on a feeding tube so that was just something that was like routine and it was just really weird like going from like doing that and then also having my uncle here and then it was just me and my grandma because after that like I took on like all the other responsibilities in the house and then in February me and my grandma decided to get another puppy and we got Piper in August of 2017 so yeah it was kind of a spur of the moment thing mm -hmm. like I had been saying for a while that I wanted another puppy I don't know why it was just something that I wanted and one day I was looking online or whatever and then I showed the puppy to her and it was exactly what she wanted. She wanted a white dog that had like black on her and part um, poodle, part Maltese. And so yeah, I showed it to her and she was like, let's get it. Like, and it was, it was five o'clock and actually it was like, a little bit past five and she was like okay you and Brandon go to the bank and get money Brandon is my cousin and so yeah literally like perfect timing though because the time that she was like oh yeah go to the bank the person had just responded in time for us to make it to the bank before it closed and so we drove to Dallas again and got another puppy this one was mainly my grandma's because like she really wanted a puppy that was specifically like that or whatever and so whenever we got her instead of the puppy sleeping in my room at night she slept with my grandma and my grandma would like get up with her and stuff like that but i i helped take care of her but it was just like a shared responsibility like she mainly slept with my grandma then fast forward to April of 2018. In April of 2018, my grandma had a stroke. It was very scary. Well, not scary, it's more so unexpected than scary. It was like a casual day kind of. My uncle and my aunt and their two grandkids were staying with us because they were like getting some stuff fixed on their house. And so other than that, it was a completely normal day. We had woken up and then my aunt was taking the kids to school. And so I was in the kitchen making coffee and I had just put like my creamer in my coffee and I was stirring it. And then my grandma called me in there to help her in the bedroom. And I was kind of just like, oh, like, oh my gosh, she needs my help. Like, I'm annoyed. It's morning. And also, I was annoyed because I wanted to sleep in that day, and Piper wouldn't let me sleep in. What had happened was, is that, okay, so my grandpa passed away or whatever, but their two beds 
like they're two twin size beds pushed together to make a full size bed and I took one of the mattresses upstairs so my cousins could sleep on one of them and so so all that was left since I took the mattress upstairs was the bed frame and then of course the other bed on the bed frame because there were two beds and so she said that she felt weak and so she sat down on the bed frame and the bed frame is like super low for her especially because like she has like problems with her knees and like her hips and stuff like that and so she called me in there to help her stand up and I couldn't get her to stand up and I thought she was perfectly fine because she was making jokes about it she was like oh I know I'm just like papa I can't get up and so I kept trying to help her and like she just like couldn't get up and I was like do you want me to get Brandon and Brandon is my cousin like I said and she was like no and then she like said that her face and like everything on her left side was numb and so she had me still trying to help her get up and like she wasn't helping me and like it was just really weird and so I got to the point where I was like screw it I'm getting Brandon I got Brandon and he lifted her up and put her on the mattress and then we called 911 and then after that I had to call everybody else in my family and I was going to ride with her in the ambulance like I literally like I grabbed my purse I grabbed her purse and I threw on some clothes like I did not have that much time I didn't even put on deodorant or perfume or anything like that like it just we didn't have time for that uh, and also not to mention even though it was April it was still really cold outside I didn't even grab a jacket and I'm standing outside in the freezing cold waiting for the guy that's driving the ambulance to come out and like tell him that I was gonna ride with them and he was like it'd be so much better if you just like drove up there like by yourself because um, they're just gonna be running a lot of tests and it's just gonna be hectic and so at the time I wasn't driving by myself so I had to call Trayvon and I called him a couple times and I'm like crap it's gonna take me like seven times for me to wake him up but it only took me three times and he drove me up there and I spent all day there I spent from like seven o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning until six o'clock at night or like seven o'clock at night I can't really remember it was super crazy because I was up there pretty much every day except for the days that I was sick there was a few days where I was sick and then it was also just really scary like because when my grandpa was in the hospital like me and my grandma would go up there every day and since I was with my grandma like she could do all the talking and I'm just like awkward I have anxiety and so I didn't have anybody to go up there with me. I was going up to the hospital by myself, carrying my purse and my grandma's purse up there every day because I would take like my tablet and stuff like that and it couldn't fit in my purse. So I would take my grandma's purse because it was just bigger. And so yeah, I would have to talk to people because there were times where like she was moved to a different room and I would have to like talk to like the nurses or like people at the desk or whatever and then she was moved to rehab and I got to spend so much time with my boyfriend during this time like I'm glad that I had him because he was great he helped me a lot with just like things with myself like being sick and then also he helped out a lot with the dogs and everything and there were times where like I'd be really scared because my cousin would like have days where he was working really late and it would be like dark outside and I would be like alone at home and I like thought that I was gonna like get killed or something but yeah then she got moved to rehab and she was there for a while too and then she finally got to come home and it was very hectic when she came home and I have a whole video about it. I relapsed and yeah, it was just crazy. We're not going to go <laughs> into that. 
and then fast forward to October it's whenever things started get, getting to be real that my boyfriend was actually gonna be deployed and everything and it was just it was crazy I remember crying a lot and then I decided to get a job and the thing is like yeah I was raised by my grandparents whatever blah 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 like I have parents and everything but in a sense I don't because I was a very sheltered kid and I wasn't I learned to do a lot of things by myself this year like I wasn't taught a lot of things because they would do like a ton of things for me so I had to learn those things for myself and I got a job all by myself it was my first job interview I didn't know what the heck I was doing but literally it lasted for a couple minutes and I got the job literally the next day and also when I had my interview um, after I had my interview I went and got my nose pierced and my ears pierced and that was like I know it sounds dumb but that was also my point where I was like you know I'm 21 well now I'm 22 but I was 21 at the time I'm like I'm applying for jobs like blah 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 I'm gonna do what I want to do if I want to put a hole in my nose and a hole in my ears like I'm gonna put a damn hole in my ear I also forgot to mention not only was I like talking to people at the um, hospital and everything I also had to go to the cable place and also talk to them about changing um, some things on our cable bill to like reduce the bill or whatever so yeah I had to go and do all that by myself and also I was um, making sure that all the like, bills got paid on time and stuff like that and my cousin was helping a lot he was paying for groceries and everything but yeah I got a job by myself I put some holes in myself um, I started driving because obviously when I get a job like there's no way gonna be here like Trayvon is off on deployment Brandon has a job my uncle is, who is now living with us again he has a job like driving by myself and also I've been having to drive the van my grandma's van which that if you would have told me I had to drive my grandma's van I would have thought that you were crazy <laughs> like I was super scared when I had to do it like the first time but now I'm like well I'm not completely confident in it like I still get scared sometimes but I'm like more comfortable with it so yeah I'm not gonna go into detail about my um, situation with my dad or whatever I made a video about how I met him in 2016 or whatever that's not relevant but I have six other siblings on his side and one of my goals this year well last year I talked to one of my sisters and one of my goals for 2018 was to meet my sister and well one of them and I met her yesterday so yeah that went really great and I also reached out to my other sister's mom or whatever and I've actually talked to one of my other sisters too so it's really great so yeah 2018 has been a year for growth honestly growth and changes and accomplishments and I have no other words of what it's been 2018 has been hard and challenging but it has been good and yeah that's pretty much all I have for this video guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys in 2019